that showing up okay? I think so. <laughs> that was endearingly amateur logo at uh, 20 seconds. I, I, I appreciate that. Foxy Land. Oh my god, it's so small. One second. I unfull screened it immediately. Okay. Oh, did you guys. Wait, was the game detected a moment ago? Can you guys tell me? Because it doesn't seem to be detected now. I'm confused. Like, could you watch it? Here, I'll just do this. So it's a little. Y'all can bear with me. I can fix this. That's fine, as long as we saw it for a bit. Uh, I gotta fix the resolution though when I windowed it, because it's, it's, it's really tiny. It's, look at my mouse cursor. It's fucking, it's so small. One second. I'll play this a bit. I think this game was meant for full screen, but that's okay. Let's play this a bit. I guess we'll have the top bar existing. That's fine, I don't mind. Alright, so it needs to be longer. I'm gonna try to hit the screen right. That's pretty good. No need to be too picky, I suppose. You guys mind the top bar at the top there? I mean, I just kind of captured with it for some reason. I could, I could, I could actually pop that out. But I don't think it's that big a deal. <laughs> Alright. So this is quite possibly, I mean, looking at these big buttons and stuff, I feel like this might be a mobile game. Why is there a slow timer counting down? Now that's okay. I don't mind that it's a mobile game. If it is, I don't know if it is. Um, because I recently played, oh, what was it called? There was this mobile game I really enjoyed. It was a really good platformer. I loved it. It was wonderful. I don't remember what it was called, but it had a great title. Maybe I could show it off some point. That's not my timer. There's my timer over there. All right, let's let's start this up. How long I can play? I don't know. Pretty long time. If so, okay, so it's level based. That's cool. No problem there. Let's see what we got. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the controls are. A and D for movement. I don't need this giant mouse. So I'm just gonna move it away. <laughs> is that visible on? That is visible on stream. Yeah. All right. There we go. So acid to move. Yeah, okay. Down to go on all fours. <laughs> That's kind of cute. Press W to jump. Press twice for double jump. Okay. Straight forward. Actually, hold on a sec. Oh, cool! I can use my controller. I was wondering. I was like, wait a minute. This would be a lot. I like playing platformers with a controller. The cherries buy items, okay. Alright, let's see where we go with this. There we go. Collect all gems to complete the level. Gotcha. Works for me. I do fly like a rock. That is true. Press down to go down the stairs. Okay. Press down to jump off branch. Got it. Wait, wait, hold on. I thought I saw a double jump. I thought I saw a wall jump going on there. 
This is weird. Why is this like weird 50s music playing? I mean, I'm not opposed to it, but. Yeah, he's over. Lever's over. I think your door's got it. Be careful, these blocks are not very reliable. I'm kidding. That whole falling like a rock thing is kind of throwing me off a little bit, but I think I'll be fine. Heavy fox? Full of a nice still? Quite possibly. Gosh. Look, okay. That was painful. I'm learning though. I mean, let's restart and do that better. Is there an achievement for every level? I wasn't actually paying attention. Was achievement? Are achievements popping up each time? Oh boy. What drew me into this game was that I thought its pixel art looked pretty nice. It looks like it! It looks like it's Cyril. <laughs> well, this is easy for a treatment, I guess it was. Whoa! Okay, the police increasing. Ow. Pretty good. I see. Skip 100. No, that's fine. Yeah, that kind of gives me a mobile game impression if I can skip levels with by spinning cherries. Restart if I hurt. I mean, that's alright though, I don't mean. The, the cool cat game I mentioned. How am I supposed to get that? Oh, wait, I think I understand. I think I get how I'm supposed to get that. I thought I had to, like, fall with the platform. The platform falls really dramatically, so that's probably not it. I think I understand what it would be. What, what it might be. I don't like how easy it is to accidentally trigger that twice. Hold on a second. There we go. I walk I triggered that by walking by it, by the way. So in other words, there's no real way to like not true. Okay. I, okay, like, they can be killed. Good see. Oh, it came back. The enemies respawn then? It's getting a little dicey. Dang it! Wait, maybe it comes back in the frog. Nope. That's a very quick uh, despawn timer on the items. How am I supposed to get all the cherries then? That seems really tricky. Oh wait, there's extra cherries. Okay. So enemy cherries are extra cherries. Alright, that's fine then. That's not a big deal. What is possum prancing about? Prancing possum. Or a possum. Definitely is a platformer. Yes. Spikes are very low there. Whoop. I don't know why this makes me very nervous. Uh oh. I 
barely missed the gym somewhere. Oh, I see. I didn't see it at first, but I see it now. I got punished for doing too well. I just... No, I can't just run from Can I check? Nope. I really want to know, though, why do so many mobile games use the, uh... three-star progression system? You notice that, like, there's so many games... There's so many mobile games where you go into a level, and then there's, like, you can get one star for clearing it, one star for, like, getting a good time, and one star for getting all the items or something. Why is it... Why does every mobile game do that? Just because it's familiar? I mean, I don't really mind it here. It's just... I have something I'm noticing. Doesn't seem like there's a time limit, which I appreciate. Oh, oh, I had to crouch. I had to crouch. I see. I do admit, though, I don't prefer it. I prefer it when games don't let me skip levels. I think that's kind of lame. Well, it's not much time to do anything. There we go. That required a little, little timing. I guess it's done because it's familiar, but oh, this is a. It's kind of a mean combination game. Alright. Oh, that's not the entrance of the That's useful. A little weird, but useful. It's really weird, but if it works, it works, right? Oh, uh, there's the door. It's very easy to cling to a le ledge. Almost too easy, actually. Sometimes, do it by Sometimes it's very easy to do by... Ooh. Oh my. I'm glad I didn't land any further to the left there. I'm gonna guess that this doesn't really progress beyond what we're seeing right now. It's gonna get difficult though. Ow. Seems like very. I guess it's a very typical platformer. That doesn't mean it's bad. It's just very typical. Damn it. Oh wait, I got the I got the cherry back. Does that mean nah I'll probably have the music might change eventually I would hope. Okay, that does it even does this even have timing? Hold on. Seems to be spewing randomly, so I'm not really sure. At least I got three of them. Right? Damn it, I should have known. tricky. Oh, 
god, what's gonna happen here? Damn it, right at the end. I knew it. Fine, please. Thank you. Oh. I didn't I didn't realize it, but apparently I can I can hide behind bushes. Okay. And also I can't hurt them from behind bushes. Okay. That's uh I mean, I guess that's why the bushes exist. I just didn't realize that was a mechanic. Yeah, whatever. I'm not worried about three stars. I just want to clear it out. I don't think... Okay. Oh. Also, I apparently totally missed something. Alright. Surprised I'm getting lost, honestly. Alright, where? Up back up here, maybe? There it is! Over there! I don't know what opened that, but okay. I don't like the timing of those. It's not very reasonable. Mobile games are dumbed down in digital, and yet this is really hard. So, I don't know. I can't really call this dumbed down, but then again... The rhythm of these is not really... Well designed, so I suppose. I mean, this one's fine comparatively to the others. Look at this one. This is nice and easy. There's nothing wrong with that one. That's a good challenge. These, this one, holy shit. Also, I do not have much invincibility time. I'm just gonna say that. Damn it! Now I'm just trying to clear it. <laughs> Stop worrying about three stars. I'm pretty sure you can't get three stars and you get hit. I'm pretty sure that's how that works. And you're probably right, there's like two launchers there. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I'm okay with a hard platformer, it's just be a little be a little fair about it. Like what what is even going on there? I don't You know what? Just jumping across might be safer. Ah. Yeah, I'm still picking up chairs as I see them, because why not, but... Perhaps I should see what the shop has. So I say that with a bit of a grimace, because if this is indeed a mobile game, I'm gonna see something like... Invincibility power-up! And then it's like, it goes from being too annoying to... You know... Easy. I I bet you anything there's an invincibility power up. And I feel bad saying that. But I would really like to like this game like that. I got stuck in the wall, but I also cleared it. Alright. There's also a small issue here. Did I already clear one third of the game? Just a thought. Anyways, let's see about this shop. Wait, what are these? Oh. Oh, what are these? What, what am I buying? What are these two? Alright. 
does that do? Does it give me any benefits? I'm not seeing any benefits here. Because now that I look like a little bit of like a... Ooh, that was close. Do I have to backtrack again? I thought I do. I do. This game likes to have this whole case of pick up switch, then backtrack. Likes that logic. I guess it's not a terrible logic, it's just... I I didn't actually pick up the cherry flower. Oh shit! I knew it! I had a feeling that that thing would fucking- Oh my god, what did I just- How did I dodge that? I was noticing how enemies come back, and I was wondering to myself, is that gonna get me in a situation where the enemy spawns on top of me? I was like, yep. What do you know? Are you kidding me? I missed it. Hello. Don't land on a- don't land on a pop- okay. Alright, we're good. Yeah, this is, uh, unfortunately- oh my god. Oh my god, okay. So this is completely random? Gotcha. No pattern there. Um, restart. Alright, don't care about cherries when I get through it. Which is why I'm doing such an incredible job. Man. I don't think I can recommend this game unless it's really cheap and you like it and you don't mind hard. Look at that jump! Dude, I wanna I wanna point out to you how tough that jump actually is. Oh my god, okay, I made it through that. At least the level's already over. I feel like cherries, or maybe there's just some HP restoration here and there. That would actually make this a lot more reasonable. But I mean, I still think it's unreasonable how, kind of how the hip. Oh, it's the, it's the bird. Wow. Oh, thanks for giving me the. Oh my god. Trying to kill him. I guess he died anyway, it's alright. Okay. Now I don't mind pitfall traps, it's kind of interesting. Change it up a bit. It's fine. Alright, hold on, wait. Damn it. He's so good at comes back to? Yep. I don't know about these enemy respawn guys. I feel like the game is punishing enough with the health how it is. It doesn't need that. Oh good. I just followed the gems to death. That's another thing. Uh, Mario coins always serve to direct the player. They should never- collectibles should ne never be used in a, oh, don't go this way, ha, huh? we tricked you, sort of method. That's not, not, again, not good design. Okay, fuck it. There you go. Ow. I'm not even gonna pick up the cherries anymore. I'm done, I'm done with them. I am done with the cherries. Unless they're very easy like that. I do need to wait for this bird, even if I don't care about the cherries. Just killing him is a lot safer. I was like, crossing my fingers that was safe, and it was. They do drop cherries, but they drop them very haphazardly, look at that. 
and say these spots are fast. I barely got that. And he's already back. Wow. I guess there's an achievement every level because they couldn't think of anything more clever to do. That's, I'm actually, you know what? I don't care about achievements. But achievements can tell you a lot about a game and how creative the team is with the achievements can tell you a lot about the creativity of the game and the team. And that went off pattern. Good. Oh, this, yeah, okay. At least this has space between them. If I can stand safely. Oh, God. It's so, you move very quickly, by the way. It's kind of hard to stand between those spikes because of the speed of movement. Oh, that's nice. Also, when the enemy, when the cherries drop out of the enemy, you may notice I don't always pick them up. I have to run over them again. That seems like a very easy thing to not have happen, but okay. Huh, jump also climbs ladders. That's, that feels odd, but okay. Oh, that's a trap! That's a good thing I looked down. That was a kind of a mean trap. This game really likes the idea of, hey, why don't you backtrack after hitting the switch? I don't know, backtracking's fine, but... That was very minor backtracking, but I'm not sure I like it too much. Alright, what's this? This looks different. Be careful, a huge wall with spikes is coming. Oh, okay. Oh, let's get also get collectibles so you can possibly miss this out of the way. It sounds good. Climb, climb it. Controls are a little weird. Oh, there it is. Oh boy. You know what I don't need with a spike wall chasing me? A cutscene showing me the door open. Oh boy. No, not here! Ah, oh, you piece of shit, bird. They're surprisingly tough to hit because when they see you, they pull back a bit. Very easy to... Very easy to... Uh, totally whiff on attacking me because they do that. I realized I could have fallen down the ladder much faster than what I was doing. Oh well. Wait a minute. Guys, am I earning these achievements even when I don't get all stars? Question. Oh, that's weird. I fell right past that one. That seems problematic. And here's what I mean by enemy respawn. Full effect. Oh good, I have to backtrack again. Should have known. I should have just backtracked by naturally because I should have known better. Oh, that was, uh, did you notice how I almost died there? And good luck falling back down that safely. Oh, 
Damn it! So, I don't know if you noticed that, but the game really being insisted about pulling out a cutscene like it's doing is causing... Okay, that's right. Of course I did. Yeah, I'm just gonna restart. The game being really insisted on its cutscenes is... I was on a platform that was going to disappear, and I had to wait for a cutscene to stop. To be fair, I don't think the platform was going to disappear while I was playing cutscene. But... It, uh... <laughs> it definitely didn't let me react very easily. I'll say that much. I think the whole you unlock the door cutscene is rather unnecessary. Quite honestly. So just there. Okay. All right, no cherry did it. Excuse me. I gotta take a shower. The music still playing. Yeah, no kidding. I keep. Wa I'm now like curious to find new music since you brought that up. How many levels have I gone through? I've almost completed two-thirds of the game. I'm not really feeling this one anymore, I have to be fair. Two-thirds of the game, no new music. I think, I'm pretty sure that's the only song at this point. I mean, maybe there's a boss theme when you get to the end and fight the bird. But sadly, as I really think this game graphically looks quite nice. I really do. I, I, dig, its, I dig the art style. It's just a shame there isn't a good game with it. Looks, it's just very, it's cozy. I, I, that's the best word I can use. The art style is very cozy looking. It looks just warm and, and nice. But, if you don't have a game matching that, then... Well, I love, I also love how great the, like, the basic collectible physics. I, I'm falling through items. Because I pick it up too many, I guess, and then it doesn't count. That was a mean trap. Okay. Uh-oh. What was that? What was that supposed to do? Let's open this? I don't know. What am I doing? That just lowers that, okay. Maybe that's the setup I need? I'm not really sure. Yep, that's it. I mean, this is a very easy achievement hunter kind of game, I guess. Need a level, get... I'm sorry to learn him. Hmm. Let me go down there? Probably. Yep. Now, how in the hell am I supposed to- hold on. I want to point something out to you guys. I can't double jump off a ladder. What? Yeah, I think they're just reusing assets instead of having a unique bird for the intro. What's the point of fighting enemies if their gems are extra and I don't need them anyways? Sometimes, okay, sometimes I can double jump off a ladder. I don't know what triggers that. I don't know, sometimes I, I notice I, okay, there. Oh, I did it, but I did it wrong. Good, just what I needed. Fucking bird. 
At least I got to the end. Yeah, from now on, we're just gonna go after the gym. Until I beat the game because I feel like I can do that rather easily, actually. Well, why not? First, just like, yeah. Actually, I feel like more interesting than anything would be a speed. Oh. Speed run in this game would probably be the most interesting. Also, the speed at which these platforms fall varies. Well, I guess just the size of it. Oh, That's like I could, I could possibly land on that guy. Yeah, speed running. Stop caring about full completion. I just go for go for. I'm wearing a gym badge, a, a gym a gym uh, headband. So. Oh my god. This is some tight platform they require. Okay. Bye. Actually, the birds are harmless if I just keep going. It's only if I have to stop. Okay. Oh good, one of these. Wait, is it just as simple as... Nope. Um, okay. Let's have a puzzle for no reason, sure. Okay. Not even a good puzzle, really. Just kind of a puzzle. Wait! Oh shit, it, each one doesn't control individual ones. It's... Hmm. Oh boy. Okay, I got lucky. I have no idea. That was just... a puzzle. Because... Also, what's that even... What even is that enemy doing there? Kind of seems like a weird placement for an enemy. Guys, did you see that? Is it just me, or did those platforms sink into the ground and then I couldn't run across them even though I thought I could? I think that's... I think... Yeah, that, that's what happened! They just randomly sunk into the ground. Did you see that? Ooh, that's on. The fuck? Oh my god, combo. Yeah, there's, like, technical issues with this, and it's weird because you think of this day and age, a platformer is not going to be a technical issue-heavy thing. This stuff is not doing anything different anyways. Damn it. I do like the skip feature, though. I'm sorry, if you have a skip feature in your game, that's usually a bad admission. That's either an admission that your game is frustrating and you don't know how to fix it, so you're just going to put a band-aid on the situation and have people be able to skip your levels. Or, I mean, this doesn't seem to have any mobile pay features because it's a paid Steam release. You have to buy the game. So I'm going to guess that the mobile version of this is free-to-play and cherries cost money. And the, the game is hard because, you know, hey, why don't you spend just a buck and skip a level? You know, that sort of thing. Actually, would somebody like, uh... What's that, Maka? What are you doing? Oh, shit. This is just a mess. I don't know what to say about this besides that. I 
Are you trying to say skip the game? I'm almost, I've actually, the only reason I'm still going is because I've almost beaten it. Wait, did I just skip a level by accident? Why do I have two levels in one? Wait, did I clear some of these with no stars? I didn't know that was possible. Like, normally these games always let you get one star, because that's part of the mobile game thing, like... You can get one star easily. The reason being... That time I got all the clues. Gotta jump quick! Okay. Yeah, normally you can, you can get always get one star even if I just clearing the level in these sort of games. And that way it gives you an incentive, like, well, I got one star, I should get the other two, you know? Face. Oh god. Nope! Okay. I mean, I basically won the game, guys. Wait a minute. Hold on. Okay, I guess this is the last level, alright. I just figured it have I figured it would have different music. Of, of anything. Hey, there she is, I guess. Okay. I mean, nice art assets, but then again, they only really designed one background, one tile set, so... Oh, that was disappointing. Looks can definitely be deceiving. They made one nice palette, so the game looked pretty good, and went from low effort from there. And that's why I continued, because I had a feeling I could very quickly finish this. Yay. And that's it. Let's get our reward, which is... What the fuck is that? Aha. Uh -huh. Punk hairdo and glasses. Okay. This is disappointing. I want a good Fox game, guys. We need a good Fox game, not this one. You want to know the price of this? Let me find out. This is two two twenty-five. Two bucks twenty-five. Also, did it really just do that? Okay, so here's the funny thing. I'm done with the game. But I want to point out something. It actually. It full screened at the cutscene for some reason. When it, the cutscene started playing, it went back to full screen mode. What the heck? <laughs> yeah, two twenty five. Normally three dollars on a promotion because it just released. This is very disappointing. I wanted more out of this. But granted, it's three bucks, so maybe if you like it, want a little, little one, want some. Want some m and m snack of gaming? I don't know. <laughs> but uh, I wouldn't recommend it, though. Also, I apparently completed 59% of the achievements. What are the other ones? Oh, yeah. Complete all levels and complete all levels on three... Wait. Yeah, complete all levels on three stars. So basically, you get an achievement for every level that you three star. All right. Yeah. That's it. There's no other achievements, so... Man, this makes me just want to play that mobile game with the cats because that game was actually really fucking adorable. I need to figure out what that game was called again.